this is Hatchmere Nature Reserve, and Hatchmere Nature Reserve is a protected site. It's a site of special scientific interest, and it gets this designation because of the rare plants and animals that are found there. We're planning to release a pair of Eurasian beavers into an enclosure on the edge of Hatchmere Nature Reserve. We chose Hatchmere for the release because it suffers from a lot of the modern issues of water quality. There are lots of different high levels of nutrients flowing into the mere, which causes lots of issues for the rare plants and animals that are found there. There's lots of willow, that's their main food source, but there's also meadows and there's lots of kind of ground vegetation that they can feed on. More importantly, there's a watercourse, there's a Hatchmere brook that runs right through the middle of the enclosure uh, and a small mere. This is where they'll live, that's where it'll provide them for safety so they can feed. The Hatchmere Brook runs into Hatchmere Nature Reserve and it brings with it high levels of nitrates and phosphates and at the moment it runs for a really straight ditch and this causes all kinds of problems and that the nutrient doesn't have time to disperse, there's no time for plants to take up all that nutrient. So beavers will coppice trees which will let light into the ground. This will allow ground vegetation to grow and filter out the water. They'll create dams which will slow the flow of water down and give the plants more time to filter out the water. We've already put some leaky dams in. Leaky dams kind of slow the flow of water, they also trap silt. It's a small way that we can help to kind of improve the water quality, but it's not enough. It's slowing the flow, but it's not filtering out the water enough. And it's the other kind of habitat benefits that come from having beavers, the letting the light in, the coppicing of trees. Beavers will do a much better job. They'll create really sturdy dams, they'll slow the flow of water and have all those kind of vegetation benefits with it. So the small pond is man-made and it just holds quite a depth of water. What beavers want, they want water about a metre deep. It provides them with safety from any predators and allows them to dive down. They'll ideally create a lodge on this, which is where they'll raise kits in the future. So our members and our supporters have helped us raise the funds to create a beaver-proof fence. This will um, basically keep the beavers in. Uh, it's got anti-climb devices, it's got anti-dig devices. Beavers are quite industrious and if they want to get out, they'll have a really good go at doing it. But they've got the perfect habitat on site. They've got water, they've got trees and they should stay on. So they've raised so far £30,000 to install the beaver-proof fence. Uh, but there's so much more to do. This is a five-year project. We've got five years of monitoring. Uh, we're looking at things like water quality. We're also looking at how beavers will affect the groundwater levels. But, and we're looking at the knock-on effect to all the wildlife. We're looking at invertebrates, we're looking at birds. We're looking at bats, everything we can on site to prove that beavers really are fantastic for other wildlife. And what we're hoping to do is use this as an education centre. We can bring people in, landowners, we can bring the public in, uh, we can bring farmers in, foresters, everyone really to show them the effects of beavers on the land. They do create issues with flooding, localised flooding, but for every issue there is a solution. Beavers have been released for nearly 100 years across Europe and across America and it's because of the benefits they provide. We can bring people in and we can educate them why beavers are so great.